Okay, so I've ordered the Optimate uh, solar panels. This is a 60 watt one that I've ordered. Uh, and now I'm just going to do an unboxing video to show you what's inside, how it works, and connect it up to my motorcycle, which is sitting here and is in need of a ongoing trickle charge. So I bought it because, honestly, it's a bit of a pain getting the uh, the bike charged through the winter when it's not being used. Um, and also I bought the 60 watt version because quite handy to have it when you're camping. You can keep the car battery charged up um, and then run various accessories from the car battery, um, iPad chargers and so forth, without worrying about whether or not your car's gonna start at the end of it. So that's why I've got it. Uh, let's open the box and get into it. So it does look pretty substantial, as you'd expect on the front, <laughs> it's like a soda panel. And on the rear, we've got this little control unit, fairly long lead to connect it into the uh, Optimate standard connector, very straightforward. And I've already installed an accessory connector onto my bike. And we also get this accessory box included as well. Okay, and inside the accessory box you get, as you'd expect, instructions, a quality control check. Don't see those that often these days. And a regulator for the charger to go in between the solar panel and whatever you're charging. Also protects the solar panel in case you start your bike or car while it's charging. It'll have a little um, protective resistor in there. Okay. And it's also got this accessory connector, so you, uh, you can, I've already got one of these on my bike, but if you don't already, this will allow you to connect it straight up to whatever battery you're charging in situ, and then you can just pop that open and plug it in there. Uh, and that will allow you to charge using clips, obviously. Same idea. So let's go ahead and get the regulator monitor connected up first. So at the moment, mine is just sitting down here. Okay, so that's connected in. Okay. And the solar panel connects into the, the sunshine end. Um, this LED here, it just flashes red every so often to indicate that it has got a good connection to the sun, exposure to the sun. And these are regarding the, the charge mode. So this, this will be if it's recovering the battery from a really low state, and it will still apply the good quality Optimate proprietary process to recover a, a battery in need of repair. This is for low battery needs charging, and this is a trickle maintenance charge, which is what I want it for. And you can leave that outside. As long as it's dry, you can leave that outside. If it's gonna rain, you do want to remove that and put it inside. The other thing that you wanna bear in mind when using this is on the rear, you can buy a stand so that you can adjust the angle of the um, uh, of the solar panel and the stand will screw into these holes here. However, I opted for one without stand because quite honestly, it's gonna be perfectly fine just sitting there while, uh, while it trickle charges the bike. Okay, so I know it says that it's uh, not rainproof, but in the British climate, it tends to be pretty cloudy and pretty rainy. Um, I've had the Optimate panel on my bike for the last couple of months. There's been plenty of rain in that time and it is still operating absolutely fine. Look at the uh, results there, it's all fine. As long as you keep the electrics under cover, it's absolutely fine, no problem at all. Although of course it's not rated for rain, so do be careful. But uh, yeah, my experience, it's all good. Hope that helps. Please do click subscribe. I'll be doing further videos on the bike and other Optimate products.